Well, we're starting to pad. The pad's getting getting started for the double line. And there's the red clay that Louisiana yep. has. Yep, so the entire of inside of our double wide will have uh, red clay dirt in it now. No, 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 no. no. Oh, no. me and the dogs are never going to be allowed yep. inside. Can't go in ever again. That's what it looks like so far. Yeah, that's a whole lot of red. So would food coloring make you feel better? No. No. The only thing that's gonna make me feel better is grass. Grass. Green. Grass on top of that. Okay, you and the dogs may never see the inside of that mobile home. It's like a sleep underneath it then. Yeah, they should. The shed, there you go. Yeah, that's nice. That shed could be fixed up. I, I asked if he minded if I recorded a couple minutes of him doing this. You know, by all rights, uh, I can record in public, but I, I would never record people uh, in, intending to put them on YouTube without making sure they were okay with it. Unless I come across something really cool in uh, you know the people of Walmart stuff and I'm always going to people of Walmart just to make sure I'm not there <laughs> I know I've got this magnified 4.2 percent I'll try real hard to hold it steady That is a super quiet machine there. Well, now that the dirt is here, it feels real. <laughs> like it's definitely gonna happen. Okay, there. Now I don't have to hold it so steady. I'm getting a little excited. First time I've ever had a brand new place to live that I haven't had to immediately go to work making it livable and replacing tubing and you know pipes and water heaters I mean the house we live in now man we weren't in that thing a, a day uh, and the AC went out and then like a week later the hot water heater went out and then I found out that the fiberglass tub had a huge hole in it that he had patched and blended with some spray paint so I had to take the old tub out and put the new tub in. It was leaking everywhere. And, uh, you know, I had termite damage that I had to replace. I just, 20 years of work on that house. And it's still, you know, everything's old in it. I'm not unhappy with the house. But, uh, anyway. So if anybody wants to buy a house in Sibley, Louisiana, with seven acres, let me know. City water, city sewer, but you can have chickens and horses. All right, I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. When he's done, I'll uh, show you what it looks like when he's finished. Uh, I was in Texas cutting trees away from my, uh, you know, my tools. So uh, I was down to my last sharp chain, uh, and then I used that up. So... I I had to buy a new uh, saw, big saw, to get through some big stuff. So I decided uh, to let someone else sharpen my chain for my little saw, my 16-inch saw. And here's, you know, when I sharpen my chains, I get, oh, five or six easy, five or six sharpenings or more out of them. I do have to... Uh, you know, take more than my belt sander and knock the uh, rakers down just a little bit. This, I want to show you, this is mine. This is what a normal tooth looks like. And this is what they do. This is the very first sharpening on this 
they sharpened half the tooth away. And that, I mean, it's so far below the Rikers, I couldn't believe why it wasn't, you know, what, I didn't really look at it close. I'm not even gonna save it, I'm just gonna throw it away. I've got, you know, one there and a couple more in there that I'm gonna sharpen. And uh, just it just pays to buy yourself the little $30 Harbor Freight chainsaw sharpener and sharpen them yourself. Because they do not care that they sharpen half your tooth away. Uh, I don't know why they do it. Uh, all you need to do is just kiss the front edge of this thing here. Let me show you. That's all you need to do. They feel like they got to sharpen half the tooth away. So there's a, you know, $25 chain worthless. You know why they put these uh, outdoor furniture displays here, right? So husbands can sit and wait while their wife digs through the 50% off plant sales. There's one buggy. She's working on buggy number two. And I am drinking a health drink. You know what these are? The keys to our new house. I thought this was going to take a couple of months, but uh, it's probably going to take a couple of weeks. This is going a lot faster than we thought. This is hilarious. For eight years, Obama blamed the bad economy on Bush. Now, two years after his presidency is over, he's taking credit for the good economy. And there's still people that support that man. Just unbelievable. That would make a great song. Believe this dog. What a comfortable dog, I know, she's huh? She's been laying like that, like a dead dog. <laughs> Here, try this one.